Everyone, welcome to Practice Pair Box Multi Patrick. So, we are going to deal with multiple players, and there's more, I guess. Like, what is that? <laughs> okay. Why don't I recognize that as a level type in regular Pair Box? But anyway. So, I guess. That was like double eyes. <laughs> um, so, we need to get one thing in there. Which I guess we can just do this way, right? Get that box in. And now one of the players needs to be on the other end of that as well. So, like, we want to do that. And I guess we just went through that. That was nice. Easy. So, this is like another take on player, I guess. Although, hmm, that one needs to go. And we are using the, the classic double player trick. One of the players is not going to be there. We are going to need to blockade that one so it doesn't go to the right. Um, then do that, then do this to move it down, wait, okay, there we go, that's fine, that's fine, perfect. Alright, so now we have, what the hell is going on here, this is like a maze. <laughs> like, <laughs> luckily it was easy, but that was like, the, the whole cartoon chasing through doors meme. Now we got the ability to cycle if I press left. I don't know why the, the there's a player over here stuck like that, but... Anyway, we got a block. I mean, that's an even number block just to make things more cursed, but um, hopefully we can get to the room to the left there. Nope. Okay, wait. Pushing to the right also affects things, I guess. But we want to transfer between rooms, right? Hmm. It'd be here. Don't know if it's possible to get that square block out, though. Like, we'd like to do the... Hmm. How do you get to the... To, like, this room? You need, like, a, another, like, sort of transfer around there as well. Hmm. Also, like, left doesn't have double pushing, which is, like, a pain. Okay, here. This might work for that. And, um, pretty much nothing else. Um, wait, we can do this. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, still need to figure out what that block is doing, though. Like... Maybe I'll assume that the block is being used for this even numbered block or something? I don't know what's going on with that. Like, that. Except, like, not. <laughs> what's going on with that? Can we transfer that to the other room? Hmm. It's not working. I'd like to transfer that block to the other room. Um, I don't see the way in. Maybe I needed to be in there. Well, no. That'd be just that'd just be a transfer to the other direction. Hmm. There's an empty room now. Wait. No, I can't do anything. What is going on here? This is a really cursed level. Like it went from like being kind of easy to like uh, not at all. Okay. So like this room, right? You can use this room to get the block in here, which is really cursed because you know it's a small room there. And now, we need to find a way to get that block somehow there and, like, looking impossible, but, you know, sure. Hmm. I'm resetting to check. No, I don't see any way. Maybe, like, here? But that's also weird, right? Like, where's that even gonna get dumped if that's true? Hmm. Damn, this is cursed. Like, how do you get another block on that target? Hmm. Why is that room so tiny? <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, wait, wait. This is our. This is another candidate. Wow, I didn't realize this room was tiny enough for it to be a candidate for this room, dude. Lol. All right. So just push it there, and now grab this block and push it all the way down. <laughs> What does this look like in the 7 view? That's messed up. Alright, but it's legit faster to do it here, because there isn't that delay at this time. Anyway, silly level, that's basically all it was about. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? I guess we're just gonna spam this move and then win. Alright, there we go. Alright, nice troll. Now we got, what, hexagons? Nope. The void is out there. Um, that's not an actual void, that's just a wall. What are we doing? We need to get 
a block in a lot of these. Although, luckily when you do that, it's not easy to get it out. So that's a good thing, but... Like... Three of these blocks. Hmm... We're just trying to get a all the players in there because we can see that like, all the blocks have players in them. But we don't want that to happen where they all come out, so... Hmm. Is there any way to deal with that? Maybe maybe we were over here? There we go. <laughs> nice. Alright, so we got this now. We also have that symbol, which means um, priority. So we can't push left to do this because that block gets off its target. So just just do it. Just press right then. <laughs> Alright, so... We got two rooms that look very similar, although the player character is different. Like, we can do that, and priority is also on. Look at that. Um, okay, are the rooms related? Hmm. Priority is on, so that eats the block. Which might be a problem, might not. This is very strange. Oh my gosh, this is very strange. Like, we can push out to get in that room. Alright, so if we can do that, then can we just do this? For no, because we need to, like displace these two. Hmm. But without the blocks getting eaten on that side, which is really bad. I don't want to get, like, eat. I don't want to, like, eat this. This feels really bad. Like, why would I want to do that? Hmm. Okay, but at least, like, that separated the players, didn't it? So let's just do that for now. Separate the players without getting that eaten. Okay, and now try to get this player. Where's the re where's the recursion out? It's like that, which is strange, but you know, works. Okay. Hmm. Now we have only one goal left. Hopefully, there's no infinity. We just caused a really bad cycle. This is so hard to visualize, holy crap. Now the level's almost done, can I change to this view and see what's happening? This seems much clearer. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. I don't feel like I- uh, I, of course, I don't feel like that I- Like, was cheating with that, by the way. Um, it just, like... Because the level's basically almost over, and I would've figured it out fast anyway, but there we go. Why are there three, like, rooms underneath, underneath there? Anyway, let's continue. We are in a big room. This is this is another um, walled off area. This is the room where things happen in, I guess. And hmm. well, let's get the block on the left there, right? There's a clone. Can we should we get that clone out of there? Feels like it, right? Although, okay, that's tough. Um, we can't get that block out of there. That's really bad. Maybe we push it out to the right? That's also kind of hard. Maybe the block is used to help get this- to get ourselves out of this issue because otherwise we're gonna have issues trying to push the block, uh, push the clone out of there because something needs to be in itself. Actually, I do wonder what needs to be in itself because we have two blocks required and, um, yeah, it's just weird what's going on there. Well, let's just get the- the blue block on the left, then exit. Hmm. Um, let's give ourselves a line to that bottom block so we can exit like this. Now, press down as one of them, one of those is a push, and then one of the blocks can be there. That is Epsilon, I'm pretty sure. Um, but everything is fine, right? Just go inside, and then finish up with the player block. There we go. There you go. So, what's next? Um, the last three places are pushless, no entry, and singularity. These are like the new appendices. That's amazing. Anyway, uh, see you for those. Bye.